Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to take you through an in-depth step-by-step tutorial on how to contour and highlight your face. So before filming, I applied my Marula face oil. I always do this as a first step so that I can give it time to sink into my skin. And what that's gonna do is help to provide more hydration and it'll make your foundation look flawless. I also applied the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the pore minimizing one. This is going to help to reduce the appearance of pores. It's a great primer. I highly recommend it. It's a non-drying formula, so it is good for dry skin, and it holds the foundation on for up to eight hours. When I apply primer, I always make sure to get the under eye area as well, just because I know that's where I'm going to be applying the concealer and I want to make sure that my concealer looks exactly the same as my foundation. The next step is to apply your favorite foundation. This one happens to be mine at the moment. It's from Makeup Forever. It's the Ultra HD Invisible Foundation in R330. So the reason why I love this formula is because it's very lightweight. So as I apply it on my face, I can barely feel it. I mean, it literally feels like I have nothing on, which is nice. And I'm using the Sigma Flat Kabuki brush. It's the F80. All I do is just pat this really gently into my skin. Sometimes I do little circular motions to help it blend in better. But yeah, you just want to apply this very evenly all over your entire face. This is a paint pot from MAC Cosmetics. It's in the shade Painterly. So this is a trick I have recently found and I feel like it completely transforms the way that my concealer looks on my face. So now I always do, it's like a staple in my routine. What I do with this is apply it under the eye area and also down my nose. The two places where my concealer is likely to not last as long throughout the day. So what this does is it just kind of holds the concealer. It really just helps the concealer to look more flawless by providing a smoother base it is basically a primer, that's what I'm using it as, but instead of for eyeshadows, I'm using it for my concealer. Love this concealer, guys. It is from It Cosmetics. It's called Bye Bye Under Eye in Neutral Medium. This is the concealer that you wanna use if you have dry under eyes and you want full on coverage. So I pat this on with my fingertip. You can use a brush if you like, but I really like using my finger with this. It just kind of helps it to blend out better since it is more of a thicker formula. Gently pat this on starting from the inner corner of your eye, down the side of your nose to the nostril, and then blend whatever you have left back towards the hairline. The whole point of the concealer is to create brightness in the center of the face. So you definitely want the under eyes to be bright, the inner corners, even around the sides of the nose if you have redness there. You also want to pat this down the bridge of your nose, starting a little bit further back from the tip and work your way upwards right in between the eyebrows and then work a half circle from one arch of your eyebrow to the other arch of your eyebrow and fill in the center of that. Also bring this through the cupid's bow and center of the chin. All right, so the next step is to contour the outer corners of your face, and for that, I will be using my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Palette. This is in 30. So you wanna take that contour shade, do the little kissy fish face, and f starting from the tip of your ear, work this from the hairline all the way through that sunken in area of your cheekbone, but you wanna stop and not go all the way down to the lip. You wanna stop like right about where, like if you were to hold your brush to the tip of your nose, right about where that hits your cheekbone area. So you wanna stop there. It's really easy using a cream product like this, um, especially if you have a brush to blend it on so you can get like an exact contour. This is the Sigma 3D HD Kabuki that I'm using. It has a nice little tip to it works really well. I also contoured my nose, and to do this, all you have to do is just draw two straight lines down from the end of the tip of your eyebrow, draw that down all the way on both sides, and then just draw a line on the tip of your nose to connect those two lines. You can also bring this through your forehead, just the outer corners, basically everywhere on your forehead where you didn't apply that 
like half circle concealer. So what I like to do is put it at the end of my eyebrow and bring it all the way back to the hairline and then work it all the way through the forehead from one side to the other. And then you can also connect this to the bronzer on the cheekbones just to help further slim down your face. And another thing that I like to do is bring this through the jawline area, so the very tip of the chin, and then work it back on either side. And that is also going to help create a shadow there so that you know you can make your face appear more slim and contoured. If you want more plump looking lips, apply a little bit of this contour right under your bottom lip. And that is it for all of the contouring work. Next, we're gonna blend this all in. So I already dampened this blending sponge from EcoTools. This is my favorite one. I love using this because of the shape and I'll show you why in just a second. But what you wanna do is just dampen it, squeeze out as much water as you can. Um, I like to you know, squeeze it out with my hand and then I'll actually put it in a towel and squeeze it out even more so that it's like a perfect little squishy ball. And then just pat this all over your face to help blend the contour and the concealer into your skin. Once you're finished with that, you're gonna need to set everything in place so that it doesn't crease and also to help mattify, especially you know if you tend to have an oily T-zone area, you definitely wanna apply a powder there. So what I use is the Honest Beauty Invisible Blurring Powder. This is a great one for dry skin because it's a very fine, uh, consistency like the powder is not thick and it blends away so beautifully I apply this with the blending sponge just simply put a little bit of the product onto the lid pat the blending sponge into it tap off the excess and then work this under the eye area and you'll immediately see it starts mattifying everything I also love to use this little tip of the blending sponge to work the powder on the sides of my nose. That way I can also set that area and it just helps my nose contour to look even better. I like to apply the powder pretty thick on the sides of the nose just because I have a lot of redness there and I wanna make sure that my concealer stays there. So I bake that area. And what that does is it just kind of helps it to look even more flawless once you're finished after you wipe it away. The next step is to apply blush. I'm using the Pixi Sculpting Brush to do this. I pick up a little bit of the blush, put it on the back of my hand just so that I'm not applying too much. And then I just lightly apply it from the middle of my cheekbone back up to the hairline just to add a little bit more color. This is a beautiful peachy pink from Makeup Geek. It's called Heartthrob. Last step is to accentuate the high points of the base. So for this, you wanna use a highlighter. I'm using this Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC Cosmetics in Soft and Gentle and the F64 brush from Sigma. Personally, for me, I don't like a whole lot of highlight on my face, so I really only put this in like a very small area on my cheekbones, basically where my eye starts to where my eye ends, just that tiny, small little area there. I'll just pat that on until it's as glowy as I like it, and then I'll also apply a very small amount to the tip of my nose, so right after that contour cream. I will also work the highlights on the top of my brow bones, focusing it in the outer corners right where the arch is of my eyebrow, and I'll also apply this to the inner corners of both eyes. With the other side of the Pixie brush that I was using, I just like to gently brush away the powder that I had put on the sides of my nose as a bake. Use a spray. This is my favorite one. It's from Makeup Forever. It's called Mist and Fix. It's a very light, fine spray. It feels great. All I do is just spray it from far away. I just basically extend my arm as far as it'll go and then give some good sprays on either sides of my face and also in the center of my face. And I just fan my face off till it's dry. And that is it for the complete tutorial on how to contour and highlight your face. If you guys liked this one, please leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also hit that bell for notifications on when I upload. And that's it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thank you.